today we're going to be talking about EBC pouches. EBC pouches seem to be a more popular topic than it used to be, uh, but I've been carrying EBC pouches for years. Uh, here's some of my older ones, but we're going to be talking about this one. This is my newest ED EBC pouch, so I thought it would be fun to open it up, look at it a little more closely, and show you what I carry in it. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, this is the Sayram EDC pouch. Uh, I bought it on Amazon. The uh, height of it is 5.3 inches. The length is 4.4 inches, and the thickness is 1.3 inches. Uh, I normally buy Maxpedition. They didn't exactly have what I was looking for, and this pouch is really kind of what I was looking for. Uh, it's not going to be the same quality as Maxpedition, but once I got it in my hand, it's not bad. I think it'll hold up pretty well. It seems to be decently built. Okay, let's look at the outside a little more closely. In the front, you have Velcro where you can put a patch on it. Uh, there's also a, a large front pocket here in the front. There's uh, some elastic here on the side that you can put a small pin, which I did. Underneath that, there's a small metal D-ring. The zipper is pretty smooth. I'd have to say it's clamshell design, but the zipper is not too bad on it. And it comes with a, a little zipper pull right here. In the back, you have two pouches where you could put a small knife or maybe a pry bar in there. Uh, this is not really much bigger than a cell phone. I mean, it's thicker, but it's a, exactly the dimensions of what I was kind of looking for. This is going to go not in my front pocket, but in a cargo pocket of my pants. And uh, it's a pretty cool little pouch. Okay, the only thing I'm going to keep on the outside of my pouch is this small little bolt action pin from Olight. It's a really cool little pin. And I'm gonna keep it right here in the, in the elastic. Now what influenced me to start carrying EDC pouches years ago was a book called SAS Urban Survival by John Lofty Wiseman. And he recommended carrying a small kit on you every day. He actually recommended a small Altoids can and people used to carry those. People still do carry those. In fact, I have one around here somewhere, but I, I carried one, an Altoids can with me with things in it for a while, and then I started getting into the small Maxpedition pouches and uh, just went on from there. But uh, that's what originally got me into carrying EDC pouches was that book. Now, before I get into what I keep in my pouch, what I keep and what you would keep it really depends on the person. Your needs and my needs may be totally different. If you take a, a certain medication that you have to have, I would recommend keeping an emergency supply in your pouch. This pouch is to solve small problems, to keep you comfortable, and to help with small emergencies, really. It's stuff that you may not need every day, but it's good to have on you. But it's good to see what other people have in their pouches and what other people carry, you may see it and get inspired and say, hey, I'd like to carry that too. So the first thing I carry is some chapstick, and this is just for the obvious reason, because my chips get, my lips get chapped, <laughs> okay? The second thing I carry is a small Bic lighter. I like carrying this white one because it's, it's almost clear and you can see the fluid level in it. So that's the reason why I like carrying this mini uh, Bic lighter that's white. I uh, also like to carry some small nail clippers and there's a small little nail file under there. The next thing I have here are some tweezers and these are some really good, these are called Uncle Bill's Silver Gripper. These are really good tweezers. They're small and compact, made in the USA. But I carry these in case I get a, a wood splinter or even a, a metal splinter, which happens, you know, if you work with your hands, Basically, I keep them for medical purposes. Another thing I like to keep, uh, this is a wavy pick, and this is a combo tensioner. It has a larger tensioner and a smaller tensioner on this side. This is something that probably most people wouldn't carry. Uh, I, I have more extensive picks in my uh, get home bag, which I may make a video about that in the future. This wavy pick can open, can open a multitude of locks. All right, another thing that I like to carry is, th this is a, basically a pill pouch. There's anti-diarrheal in here. There's uh, some Benadryl, things for heartburn, things of that nature. If you're ever out and about 
and you eat some bad food and you get diarrhea, you're going to you're going to be so grateful that you had some anti-diarrheal pills. All right, another thing I like to carry uh, is some emergency money. So I've just got a small little plastic bag here with some 20s in it. Emergency money comes in really handy. I mean, you could have lost your wallet. Anything could have happened, so it's nice to have a little bit of emergency money just in case. This, I did have aspirin in it, but I switched it to Tylenol. Tylenol is not only good for headaches and pain relief, but it's also a fever reducer. So this could actually almost really be life-saving if you get really sick. Another thing I like to carry is Gorilla Tape. I actually used some of this already, so I probably need to put a little bit more on there. But I just got like an old Kroger's card or something and cut it down, and then I used that to wrap the Gorilla Tape around. But uh, Gorilla Tape comes in really handy. It can solve a lot of problems. Uh, another thing I have in my EDC pouch is a small pry bar. This one is the Gerber Shard. They're very inexpensive. or You could keep them uh, on your key ring if you wanted to. Uh, there's a small bottle opener. There's a pry bar. I like having pry bars with me because I find myself wanting to pry on things, but I don't definitely don't want to use my knife and break the tip off. And this is a really cool little pry bar. It also has a, a small little Phillips right here on the edge. Really cool, small, light, compact. I also like carrying some bobby pins. There's a multitude of uses for these. This is another item that a, a lot of people probably don't want to carry but I like carrying them because I can use them for several things. Okay, this is the biggest tool that I'm going to have and probably the heaviest in my EDC pouch. This is the Leatherman Micra. The best thing about this is the scissors. Scissors are useful for a multitude of things. These particular scissors are, are really well done on this little bitty multi-tool. They're strong enough to if you got badly injured, you could cut away blue jeans to get to the wound. Uh, and they're also spring-loaded. And they also have a bunch of other uh, useful tools. There's a, a little nail cleaner and file. This is a small flathead. Then you have a, a really small little knife. What's interesting is you have some really small tweezers here. Okay, this is a smaller flathead. And because it's angled like that, uh, you could probably probably use that as a Phillips too. And here is a very small flat head that you could use to adjust your eyeglasses if you wear glasses. And there's also a bottle opener right here. So this is the Leatherman Micra. And it's a really cool multi-tool. Really well done by Leatherman. You can also put it on your keychain if you wanted to. Uh, I gave one of these to my wife and she uses it all the time. Now the last thing is going to be this pouch which is all medical stuff. I have alcohol swabs. I have some small gauze. I have different sizes of band-aids. I have some triple antibiotic ointment. Uh, so this can get you out of a jam if you cut yourself. I mean, this is not going, you're not going to be able to treat a large wound with this, but uh, you could, you could treat a lot of cuts and scrapes with this, this little kit right here. Okay, we'll look in the inside of this pouch a little more closely. There's two small little pockets right here on the right side that you can use to organize things, and there's a large pouch in back, and on this side, there's a large pouch and back and then there's also a long pouch that's short with three elastic bands to help you organize tools and this is a really good layout i like the way they've done this i wish maxpedition had a pouch like this because i know it would be really well made okay this pouch is not going to be the same quality as maxpedition but this material, this polyester material, feels pretty robust. I think it'll hold up. I don't know if the stitching will hold up as well as Maxpedition. I've never had stitching come undone with a Maxpedition pouch. But we'll see. Only time will tell. The patch is sold separately. I like the Ninja Turtles because I'm an 80s kid. But this pouch is also very inexpensive. Right now, this particular pouch is $16.99 on Amazon. And the last time I looked, there was a 10% 10% coupon on it. So you can get this for around $15 right now. Okay, this is everything laid out that I have in the pouch. And I can tell you from personal experience, I've used every one of these items before from my EDC pouch. Personally, I find all of these very useful. 
Uh, some of these you may want to carry, some of them you may not want to carry, but uh, I hope you got inspired by some of the things that I carry. Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope everybody had a great holiday, and I wish nothing but the best for everybody for the new coming new year, but I'll see y'all next time.